actually in our college time this book was regarded as the bible of data structures and algorithms and sometimes in the next question you will have the same question where the answer is even more optimized and this hello everyone so my name is kaurav and you are watching 100 gb where i talk about software engineering technology and stuff i care about uh it's been a while uh i missed out on last weekend i couldn't post a video because i was moving houses and i've shifted to my hometown let's see how it all goes now so right now it's a temporary setup uh i guess uh, we'll have to manage with what we have uh so today i will be talking about the books that i referred to during my preparation and in my college as well uh so this video won't actually cover the the subject books that software engineers refer to like for all the subjects like operating systems networking dbms and maybe c language or any other language so uh, explicitly the books that i followed during my preparation without wasting any time let's begin first uh, why this video uh, well you guys already know that almost all the videos that i make they are kind of the answers to a lot of questions that i get on uh, either instagram or in the form of youtube comments so again i've been getting a lot of questions around uh, the books or what books to refer and this is the answer and for those of you who have been following my channel for quite some time you guys already know that for almost all of my videos i try to make things simpler or as simple as possible for you to understand and i I don't want to like bombard you with all the information that I have. So again, a very simple video with just three books. And actually, I, I actually for my Google preparation, I refer to those three books. Apart from all the uh, competitive programming, all uh, all the apart from all of the competitive programming that I was uh, doing. Okay. So first book uh well the name of the book is Introduction to Algorithms by Thomas H Corman and three other authors uh well the book says Introduction to Algorithms but it's actually well that's how the book looks like and it's this big that's it that's it so Actually in our college time this book was regarded as the bible of data structures and algorithms if you actually read the entire book and you understand it you can actually call yourself a master of algorithms as in this book has everything literally everything things that i like particularly were uh, first was the theory and the math behind everything uh, as in the every algorithm or data structure that the book talks about it has a well defined math around it well there might be a lot of things that you won't be able to understand in one go i would suggest maybe uh, just go through it once and then read on the internet ask your friends about it discuss with your friends and eventually you will get it uh, i actually haven't read the entire book but i have read parts of it uh, like in my college and after college as well i i, I remember uh, reading the details about the big o annotation the big theta annotation big omega annotation what are the differences while other books also have this but this book has that in great length uh so anybody who is in i would say uh, either in the second semester or third semester in their computer science degree or or any other btech degree and they want to switch gears to computer science i would say this is a great start if you can just read through this entire book and you will be done uh so theory and a lot of theory and the other thing that i liked about this book is algorithmic proofs as in for all the algorithms that you will read in this book uh, let's say kmp algorithm i'm not sure if it's there uh but you will actually get to see the, the actual proof behind it as in if you read an algorithm and sometimes you tend to ask yourself that why does it even exist why does the author thought it in this way and you'll most likely get all of your answers in this book So the second book for today uh well the name is data structures and algorithms made easy by Narasimha Karumanchi I hope I'm pronouncing the name right well this is this is how the book looks look this is how the book looks like 
and it's not uh, very big i would say uh, you can easily actually cover it within uh, within a span of one or two months if you're a college student and actually so this book is in the form of like for every uh, for every topic you have interview questions that's it so this book is explicitly for interview uh, preparation and i actually covered this entire book in my college itself uh, i guess it was either pre either towards the end of pre final year or in final year i don't remember exactly what i liked in this book um, i would say this is the most comprehensive book uh, that i have read as far as the data structures and algorithms part of an interview is concerned uh it it covers almost every kind of question that you can think of uh and and interestingly i i'd say out of all the questions that i faced in my interviews i think around 80% or even more uh of them came from this book in some form well the other thing i liked about this book is uh kind of the progressive nature of the questions so let's say you are doing a question uh on a tree or a linked list and you will have the solution over there and sometimes in the next question you will have the same question where the answer is even more optimized and this thing can continue up till four depths as in same question four different solutions and the the author is actually uh, giving you a more even more optimized solution where things can go from let's say n cube like big o of n cube to big o n log n or big o n maybe <laughs> So, quick mention about the author himself. The name is Narasimha Karumanchi, and uh, I guess this guy—he's a senior software engineer at Microsoft. Some days back, I was just joking around with my friend, like when Narasimha Karumanchi would have interviewed for Microsoft, things would have been something like this. In school, me, you have all learned, right? His headmaster is still in the institution. Okay, jokes aside. So, third part. Uh, this book is actually explicitly for interview preparation, uh, not only on the data structures and algorithm side, but also on the design and behavioral aspect of the interview. So, this is the book, cracking the coding interview, and the author's name is, I guess, Gail Lachman. Lachman, I hope I, I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, this is how big the book is. Uh, but actually this book this book looks big but you can actually cover it uh, i would again say maybe in a month's time so what did i like in this book uh, first i would say the 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 format of the design problems and the format of the solution of the design problems is amazing it actually doesn't give you the entire framework it actually doesn't give you an entire framework of solving the design problems but it still gives you a good start so using this book i kind of created my own uh, framework and pattern of solving the design problems given any kind of low level high level or any ambiguous problem and the other thing i liked about this book is uh, that the, that this book actually covers the interview process as a whole not not only the data structures part but it has behavioral questions it has uh, obviously design problems and on top of it 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 also gives you kind of a format for your preparation as in you can think of it like a guide a preparation guide so yeah that's it actually these are the three books you need to refer there are some honorable mentions i'll quickly go through them first is uh, the head first design patterns there you go so this book is recommended for uh, anybody who has a decent experience in java uh, and maybe uh, if you are in your final year and you have some time left and you have already got your job so this is the book i would recommend it, it won't help you for interview or anything but it will definitely make you a good software engineer sorry so i forgot one thing that almost all the books that i've mentioned in this video they won't help you in cracking the uh, campus placement online coding rounds or not coding rounds actually i would say the mcq tests that you have even before the coding rounds because those MCQ tests, they have a lot of uh, C and C++ related puzzles. So for that thing, I used to follow this book uh, in my college. The link should be in the description. I'm not sure if uh, that book is available uh, online these days. Uh, that book was written by a professor uh, in our college, Mr. J.K. Chabra. Sir, uh, so that book was an amazing book. 
like it it had all kinds of puzzles that i could think of uh, in c and c++ so before i close this video uh, i want to say one thing uh, actually a lot of people on instagram and youtube have been asking me for providing roadmaps to get into google or get into any other fan company well uh, I actually can't make those uh, as long as I am in Google because of some, uh, you know, internal policy. Uh, but rest assured, if you have any questions regarding my preparation or any other like Google re related question, I am all up for it. Uh, well, I guess uh, I covered everything and I don't have anything else for now. Uh, so we will close this video and if you if you did like the video uh, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button uh, and share with your friends i mean sharing is caring right so don't forget to share this with your friends your colleagues uh, your batchmates and yeah i will see you in the next one bye uh, the name is narasimha karun um so if you 